You ask me I'm bad on one I guess I'ma beg for me Your body looks bad on me Cause it gets wetter for me Once you beg for me Once you beg, once you beg Watch me beg for you I'ma beg, I guess I gotta beg What's up, Halo Army? It's your boy Milo. It's your girl here. And what are we talking about today, Shorty? Today we are talking about something unfortunate. So as you guys know, probably like the first week of yeah, it was like the first week of this year. We did a video titled "We're Having a Baby," and in that video we were telling y'all how this year we wanted to have a baby. That was probably like our biggest goal of this year. 100% was to have a child. Me and her was like super excited. It's like all we were talking about the beginning of this year. So we thought it was appropriate to bring that to y'all attention and basically get y'all heads up and let y'all know y'all should possibly expect a baby halo. You feel me? But circumstances arrived and a bunch of stuff happened. Let me just say that. I'm gonna just sum it up and just say a bunch of stuff happened. This year, we were really gonna try to have a baby. I I literally been talking to my mom and everything and I told her like I want to start going to the gynecologist I need I want to start getting myself checked up see like you know if everything's good down there with my reproductive organs and all of that just to make sure I'm good to go make sure there's no internal health problems that'll stop me from having a baby because that's something I've always been worried about I'm a very anxiety filled person I will just think myself into a freaking panic attack I'm always like oh my god what if this is wrong with me what if I won't be able to have kids what if this and this and that which is really really bad I just do have like a lot of fears surrounding that I've always wanted to be a mom so I really wanted to try I was like I want to have a baby this year and probably give birth towards the end of this year or the beginning of next year you know and I feel like it was just like perfect timing we're gonna be together for almost three years in a couple months it's gonna be three years get married soon all of that I just feel like we're in a really good time right now in our relationship to just take steps forward towards having a family and building a family and all that I really did want to go get the necessary checkups like talk to a doctor about the steps I can take towards having a baby which I know for some people it's like what do you mean like you just have a baby I just want to make sure I'm okay because like what if something's not okay and then like you know I'm pregnant but then I don't know there's something wrong inside and then it causes like health problems that'll cause me to have miscarriages or things like that. So it's like, I just want to get checked first. I've never been to the gynecologist. I've never, I don't know if that's TMI, but yeah, I never had like my stuff checked down there by a doctor, which like I said, I just feel like that's a very important thing for me just to have peace of mind and know like, okay, I'm able to have a baby. It's going to be healthy. I'm going to be healthy. You know what I'm saying? So I want to make sure because I do already have a lot of health problems. That's something I want to be sure about. And obviously now it's not even a good time to even go to the doctors or go to a hospital and have appointments. Like I've been having really bad headaches too. And like usually I will go to the ER to get like medicine or something with everything going on with this whole pandemic. Cause that's been the last thing. Like no, the hospitals are... You just want to stay away from hospitals right now. Like she just explained and also like I said earlier, so we told you guys we wanted to try for a kid this year. That was like on our high priority list. That was our goal for this year. Like our New Year's re resolution was to try to have a kid. It sucks that all of this is going on right now. It's not even any room in our minds to want to raise a child or bring a child into this world not knowing how long this can go on for. I don't yeah. think it will go on for years, but... Right. I've heard that it can possibly go on for years. I'm afraid to even attempt. The other day, I was like, oh my god, like, what if I get pregnant? Like, usually I would be excited. I'm making sure to be extra careful right now because I'm actually terrified to get pregnant right now because of everything that's happening right now. Like, I've been hearing so many stories and it breaks my heart for, like, the women who are pregnant right now, for the women who are giving birth. I actually watched a video on YouTube. The video was I gave birth during a global pandemic and her husband wasn't allowed to go to any of her, um, ultrasounds her husband wasn't even allowed in the room while she was giving labor she had to give birth by herself her husband had to be on a freaking laptop like facetime she had to be alone and that's so sad she's like my last checkup appointment before she had her baby her husband couldn't go when she was giving birth she had to wear a mask it's just scary it's, it's just crazy. yeah i've just been hearing so many heartbreaking stories and it's like i would not want my first pregnancy experience to be what it is in this 
this world right now. You know what I mean? Imagine my first time getting pregnant. I can't even have you go to my yeah, appointments. I like can't even. Like at the first ultrasound. We right. don't know if this is going to last four years. Especially with like hospitals. It's like they're prioritizing the ill and sick people. I don't even know if they're making a lot of room for pregnant women. Like I don't know how that goes behind the hospital yeah. doors. I don't even want to come to find out. Also the beginning of this year, we wanted to talk to y'all more. Because I feel like we do a lot of challenges and pranks. That's why we don't post that often because a lot of the content that y'all want to watch is like pranks you feel me so like i told y'all in one of our last videos it's kind of hard to prank each other every single day and that's why y'all see maybe one video a week or maybe two videos a week if you're lucky like this week you're gonna get two videos because it's not pranks so i really do want to start back sitting down and talking to y'all because i feel like we don't do that at all anymore it's honestly stupid i feel like we really need to put out the effort to talk to y'all but it's just hard to figure out the right things to say on video or even think about a good video that will still be entertaining you guys even if you guys are just watching it for context purpose to be able to hear our words and hear what we talk about that was the purpose of this video we wanted to keep you guys in the loop because i don't know about you but me personally i received a lot of comments and messages about that that video asking are you guys still planning on having a kid are you this are you that are you this i just feel like they're just so clueless because the last thing they heard about a kid was that we were gonna have one this year we're already halfway through the year and no efforts you feel me like we didn't even like, we haven't even attempted you feel me i feel like it's a it's a responsible thing to do as bad as we wanted kids you feel me like she really had crazy baby fever around the time i've had baby fever for the last few years i've been wanting the kids since for our first <laughs> week together you know what i mean like i just i just want kids really bad you know what i mean it, it sucks it sucks that this happened i really thought this year was gonna be an amazing year so far it's been like the first few months it was great you know what i mean like the first few months for me at least it was really good i remember you tweeted saying that this year has been stressful mm -hmm. before like all this started but nah bro like two months in like it just yeah. went down here it just really started crashing like it's a lot of stuff that we dealt with personally behind closed doors that kept our face off camera for a while and that we really had a hard time recovering from not anything we really want to talk about but um just know it was a lot of stuff going on in our personal life that was very hard to deal with so the year just been crazy bro like so far this year has just been it's, it's just been a wreck <laughs> Especially, this year, this was supposed to be the year that we are going to, like, go travel to. Yeah, like, like, this was the year. 2020 yeah, was the year, bro. Our 30-year anniversary this year. We've been like, settled down for a whole year inside of this house, you know what I mean? Like, we got so much established, you know what I mean? But we spend all of our money on stuff for the house. We Like, I feel like, I feel like we really do not enjoy our money enough. You know what I mean? Like we're responsible. Yeah, like we can get a like we when we get our paychecks, we we just scheduled a freaking gardener to come <laughs> do our landscaping. You know what I mean? So we spend our money on stuff like that. Usually stuff for the house or stuff for our life. I feel like we don't enjoy our money enough and I feel like we should get out and enjoy our money <laughs> a little more. So this was the year that we was really about to turn up, bro. Y'all was about to see us vlogging because we was gonna be traveling like at least every two months. And we really wanted to travel to like five five six different countries this year we can't do none of that bro <laughs> we can't do none of that yeah. this year just ruined everything bro yeah the whole pandemic everything just kind of like put a pause on the whole world obviously so yeah I feel like we haven't we haven't talked about it enough. Like I said, we've been pretty ghost. We've just been chilling and focusing on ourselves. It's just been a wreck. <laughs> More of the story, we're not having a kid this year. Unless it's an accident, which I'm praying that it's not. <laughs> Honestly, I'm yeah, if, it, if it happens, we're going to be excited regardless. Yeah. We would just prefer to do it on better terms and we would prefer to do it in a healthy society. Right, exactly. You know what I, mean? I don't want you to I don't want you to be pregnant worrying about a sickness wrong yeah. in the air, you know what I mean? It's not, just it's not, not responsible. The, it's not the experience we want either. Exactly. So maybe if all of this blows over, like within the next few months, we might consider it. But we won't have a baby this year. It's already too late for that. It'll be next year. <laughs> you feel me? I'm just the type who likes to plan things. Uh, like I literally, all the time, I would be like, okay, if I were to get pregnant this month, then that means I would give birth. And this month, I would literally do that all the time. I don't know. I just like to plan things. If we were to have a baby by accident, obviously it would be a blessing regardless. We I would just be... More nervous about it if yeah. you know during cautious. all this Very yeah cautious. but yeah i would just like to plan i want to know for sure that i'm ready i want to know for sure that he's ready i want to know for sure that our relationship is ready to handle it which yeah. is why like i feel like he's been ready for a long time but me personally like no like i don't know when the time is right for like her mind is telling her she's ready but it's like her body is like 
Nah, we have. Or maybe it's the other way around. Yeah. Maybe, I think it's the, your body is ready, but your mind is telling you no. It's only because of the circumstances, yeah. really. I was really going all for it this year, for sure. You know, I've been telling my mom, things happen for a reason, everything happens for a reason. So I'm trusting God, yeah. I'm trusting His plan. We'll just see. If it does happen, we'll just have to settle for not being able to have a baby shower. Things like that, too. Like, I know that's so, like, minuscule compared to like obviously like people are like oh my god there's a whole freaking pandemic you guys are worried about a baby shower but honestly like i know it might seem so dumb it's like so saying oh let's, it's a pandemic but, but still let's get married and not have a wedding like yeah it's, it's just though it's the things that it's certain little it just, things I feel that like, matter yeah i feel like it's just little things that will take away from my experience like i said i, I just want my first at least my first pregnancy to just be an amazing experience yeah, you 100%. know having a kid is gonna be an amazing uh, yeah, experience already but it's like all the things leading up to that it's just a lot that goes into a pregnancy other than just getting a big belly and having a kid you know what i mean damn near like bi-weekly or monthly doctor visits that it don't seem possible right now yeah. you know what i mean so it's just, it's just a lot so by all means just understand the baby idea is out of the equation for this year i'm yeah. good just within the next couple years though so. yeah we're gonna be straight we're gonna be straight we're gonna have a baby we're gonna have four <laughs> if you love us and if you <laughs> want us to uh, be happy for the rest of our life <laughs> give this video a thumbs up you feel me get it to 25,000 likes i know it's gonna get more than 25,000 views so you might as well hit that like button while you at it as soon as you swipe out of this video hit the like button and then swipe off of the youtube app or keep scrolling whatever you do after you watch one of our videos <laughs> make that move bro subscribe to our channel if you're not subscribed comment on this video stay blessed you know what i mean make sure you follow us on ig everything will be rocker you feel what i'm saying as always, remember, heaven added lit opportunity. So keep your halos. And keep your head up. But we out. <laughs> you ask me how bad I want it. I guess I'm a bad for it. Your body looks better on me. Cause it gets wetter for me. Once you back for me. Once you back, once you back. Watch me back for you.